Police are looking for the man behind a brutal attack on a number two subway train in Manhattan. They released very clear video of the man as he hit a total stranger with some kind of metal tool. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang joins us now live from Tribeca. Lucy. Well, Sandra, the NYPD is urging all riders to take a very careful look at the video we're about to show you. They need help arresting the man who turned a late night subway ride into a violent and painful nightmare for another passenger. I am freaked out. I don't even want to get on this train. After seeing video of this shocking and violent attack, these two riders decided not to swipe into the subway and opted for a cab instead. It's scary because you're stuck on the train. So if somebody's getting like loud and aggressive, you just kind of hope that they stop because you can't go anywhere. That's what's really scary about it. And that's exactly what happened shortly before midnight on Saturday on the number two downtown train. Police report what began with a verbal disagreement quickly escalated into a horrible assault. You can see the man in the blue sleeveless top take a metal tool and load. Authorities say he smashed it on the victim's head, fracturing the 59-year-old man's skull and eye socket. You can see the attacker then put his metal weapon away. There was a diaper box at the bottom of his dolly. Detectives believe he took off at the Chamber Street exit. Oh my goodness. Fellow passengers Sunday night left feeling way too vulnerable. It's very frightening, of course it is. So um, if anything, it's just adopting more defensive tactics. I've only seen people just kind of singing on the subway or making, trying to make money and stuff, but never like that. That's really concerning, actually. No word yet on what triggered this terrible outburst. The victim was taken to Bellevue Hospital, where he is now listed in serious but stable condition. We're live in Tribeca tonight. I'm Lucy Yang for Channel 7 Eyewitness News.